In today's video, you're going to get to see a couple of beautiful trucks. Hello everybody, welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, then welcome. I really appreciate you being here today. If you've been to my channel before, then as always, welcome back. Thank you so much for the comments that you leave for me, for your thumbs up, for you subscribing to my channel, and also remembering to hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is being released. Today, you're gonna to meet a gentleman. His name is Glenn. He has a thing about trucks. He's got a couple of absolutely beautiful trucks. He's got a 1951 Chevy 3100 that has a six volt battery in it and even has a gun rack. He also has an absolutely stunning GMC one ton pickup truck that he loved and brought all the way from Arizona. He kind of has a little bit of a man cave thing going as well, where he's got a, a beautiful uh, 1977 old Cutlass and a couple of motorcycles too. So, without further ado, let's hop in, let's go for a drive, and let's... <laughs> what are these things? Well, this is my 1952 Chev thir uh, 3100. It's... Uh, Got the original 235 engine in it, and it's six volt system, so it's all original. Six volts. Six volts still, yeah. The only thing that's not really uh, original would be the tires. But... Uh, hang on a second. The chrome front is all original. No, I had them plated uh, because I'm a chrome guy, like me just, too, just like <laughs> yourself. Yeah. Ain't enough blade. And yes. so the history is in 1952 because of the Korean War, there wasn't a lot of chrome. Uh, so th those five bars would have been painted the same color as the truck. Really? So when I got this truck in 96, I said, no, I want it chrome. Ah. So I took the b five bars off and went and got it chromed. The best decision you ever made, or yeah. one of the right decisions you yeah. ever made. Absolutely love So, it. yeah. Look at the height of this thing, though. This color as well, Glenn, that's the original color. It would have been I think it would have been a little darker blue but it would have been blue but not as uh robin this is robin's egg blue How heck is this? How heck is this? so this truck came from uh montana okay some elderly woman was in her family and she got rid of it and i ended up getting it so like were you looking specifically for this truck no i found it locally here a guy uh brought it he was in the trucking business and he brought it up from arizona or no sorry montana right and he was uh he wanted fast cars and this truck didn't go fast so he put it on auto trader and i you fell in love it. didn't you yeah yes. i did i did i'm a truck guy you certainly are my lord the tail lights and everything this would have been all, yeah. all original just like that well there only would have been one tail light on the driver's side there was really? no signals no no signals no you had to stick your arm out old school so uh, okay. I added the other one on this side so that uh, the legality we, reasons. Yes, too, I'm there sure, you go. Right? And uh, so this deck here again would have been a wood floor just like that. I have to replace the rails. They're not uh, they're original, but they've seen some wear and tear. So I need to replace the boards and 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 these uh, runners. My lord! I have the uh, chrome. Rear step bumper, or not step bumper, this is a step bumper right. that was uh, And there's a chrome homemade. piece that goes... No, you take this one off and it's similar to the one on the front. Oh, I see. But I've, I haven't done that yet. I oh, sort of like the... Uh, I love this bulbous look to yeah. it though. Isn't that so cool? Yeah. Yeah. Look so at the you, size of the tires as well. Yeah. So the, this is a half ton. They had the three quarter ton, one ton, a longer box, heavier suspension. But this is the short box. And uh, can we see the engine on this? Yeah, certainly. Wow. So 235 Thriftmaster. They had two, two motors back in the day. This is the bigger one, 235. Six volt system. Um, so let me ask you this, Glenn. Um, so back in the day, were most of these things working on a six volt system? They were. 
Yeah. And then at some point we switched to a 12 volt. Then. Yeah, probably about 55, I believe. My God. Yeah. So where do you think the battery is? I have no idea. I was just trying to... It's not like in the MG. Oh, it is, isn't it? Like, is it there? Yeah. Because the original MGs was supposed to be behind the seats. Yeah. So wow. we have a little... And that's where, that. that's where they hid the battery. Hey, can you still get six volt batteries? Oh, you certainly can, yeah. What, Canadian Tire? Uh, I don't know oh, if Canadian Tire. I go to um, Napa or, or another automotive store. Glenn, I just love so this, this detail. Well, this would have been old chrome. Really? But because of, because yes. of 52, they didn't do it. They painted everything because of the Korean War. The radio would have been in here. It would have been a tube radio. I've just added this radio from the 60s. That's a portable radio you can pull out. The American truck was standard on the floor. The Canadian trucks had the lever up on the, on the column. Three speed. So what's that third uh, or the fourth? Uh, so you have your parking problem. brake. Oh, that's the parking. Look how mechanical that whole yeah. thing is. The, the clutch, yes. the brake, the gas pedal, and you pressed on this to start it. That's your starter <laughs> button. Wow. Can I come yeah. on the other side? Yep. My God, Glenn. Is that the horn? That's an Uga horn. Here's the wow. original horn right here. Wow. Amazing. Let's have a look. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> oh, I love it. All metal, yeah. No plastic. You know what? There's this elegance to this thing. Even this, like the way it's all built. Oh, well, that's an aftermarket for turn signals. Again, you would just... L little Pr extra bling there. Hey, Glenn, like you might as well make it chrome. <laughs> Beautiful. Is this the gun rack? It is. <laughs> Montana. They yeah. all carried their guns. My Lord. Absolutely stunning. So you've driven her around and uh, everything else yeah. for years and years. Yeah, so it's, we've had this since 96. Yeah. Certainly turns heads though, doesn't it? Yeah. You drive this thing yeah. anywhere. I mean, she's got presence. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. The reflectors here, Glenn? Yep. Aftermarket? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was this even like hand painted? Yeah. It is, isn't that, it? It's touched up. It's touched up. Wow. That's That wouldn't have been factory. Somebody's got a paintbrush out. Look how solid the whole thing is though, hey? It must weigh, weigh a ton. It's half a ton. It weighs God knows how many tons itself, right? So, beautiful machine. So, the deluxe cab would have had five, uh, three windows in the back. The corners would have had windows here. Oh, really? Yeah, so. So that, that would have been the deluxe version. Yeah, and more chrome around the, the trim. Got it. The hood, around the windows, you wouldn't have seen the rubber, it would have had chrome. Very nice. And the rear view mirror would have been in the same spot as well. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That little knob, the blue knob on top of uh, the dash there, what does that control? That controls the wipers. No way. And it's not an electric motor. It works off the vacuum with right. the motors. Right, right, right. And there's no, um, well, it's, I've, I've lost the word. Uh, there's no spray. It's just wipe, no. right? Yeah, that's okay. right. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Wow, beautiful. All righty. And the seat belts, no such thing. No such thing in seat belts. Yeah. And we can still ride this truck without seat belts. Some guys add seat belts, but I like to keep you it the know, way it was cool. when you got it. And yeah, yeah. I don't go fast in it and just no, locally true. here. But you know what? With any classic car, you, you have to kind of make the assumption that everybody else is a bit of an idiot and they're not going to see you. And uh, you're just a little bit more careful. It's not about going fast. It's going about going in style. How cool is this? All right. And... What is this? Come on. That's a 1955 GMC one ton uh, tow truck. My God. So I got this in Arizona and basically my neighbor told me about it and sent some pictures while he, when he was down there and uh, we ended up bringing it home. <laughs> Now, again, original color, blue or? Yeah, I think this is the original color to the, to, to the front part of the truck. Um, 
The funny yeah. part about it is this truck was built in Oshawa. Get out of here. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And then sent sent down to Arizona and spent its life down there. And uh, we brought it home for a couple of years ago. Oh, my God. So she's come back home, back to Canada. Yeah. So, obviously, this is all new stuff, though, right? Yeah, but that's... This is... That, it would have had the same mirrors as what's on that 52. Right on, the little black, yeah. So I never added these mirrors. The previous owner did. and uh, But I think I want to go back to the way it should look. You know what strikes me as well? The front windshield. Yeah. How straight it is. And I just love that curve. Yeah. And the back window. It's called the big back window. This one. Oh, the, yes. Yeah. See the difference between it and the 52, right, the smaller. Right, right, This is more elegant, isn't it? A little more the deluxe model right there. And the uh, the dome lamp and everything yeah. else wouldn't, I mean, again, that's that's an aftermarket. Thing, yeah, it would have yeah. would have had one on Something. there, I guess. Probably a, a, a cherry one, yes. a rounded one. That's a square one, but that's the, it all works. So this is a Holmes, the Wrecker is a Holmes 440. And... Uh, Wrecker, what do you mean by that? This part? The, the tow truck part. It's called a wrecker. A wrecker, yeah. Really? Yeah. It's not the word I would have thought somehow. Yeah. It's, it's more like the salvager than the wrecker. <laughs> well, some people call it a wrecker, salvager. Okay. Uh, thing about this is it's got two uh, winches on it. Um, yeah, but it doesn't work though, does it? Oh, it certainly it does. It does? Oh yeah, I can go out on a tow call later. I'm just wow, waiting for the phone yeah. to ring. No, it's... Um, oh. Uh, mechanical. Okay. It works off the motor. I have to uh, engage the PTO. PTO uh, means power takeoff. Okay. It runs the hydro uh, the hydraulic Hydraulics, pump. Okay. And it's got the sling on it. That's old school. You put the bumper in here and then lift her up. Put okay. the J hooks on her. Uh, this operates uh, one winch, the green one with the green hook, and this operates the red one, the red hook. Uh, this is also also a Holmes 440. Right. It's twin boom, which means that we can uh, disengage these this pin here, and we can swing this boom to the side, so we can oh, tow from the side. If somebody's off on yeah, the ditch or something. In the something, ditch, right? right yeah. On. Yeah. I often wondered how they did that. So that's how it's done. Well, yeah, or you just have to back your truck into yes. the, into. The, but yes. this we can tow pull from the side. How cool is that? Um, yeah. And so actually you've used this thing? I know you said you... Um, uh, pulled that guy with it. Wow. What's this thing here? That's um, it, it's, um, a jack. Okay. So, so oh, it's, it's not fastened. No, no, okay. it's just sitting there. Okay. I just pulled it out of the box here. Right on. How cool is that? That is nice by itself. I mean, you could play with that all day long. So what's in the in the box? Like, what no, would you just store got some, in there? I just got some... Bits and pieces. Piece and pieces. Oh yes. I got some chalk, some gloves, uh, my lights for uh, towing. You know, I got to put yeah. these on the on the vehicle, magnetic. Okay. On the vehicle I'm towing. Got it. Rags, some tools. Yeah. So it was an operational tow truck. Yeah. No, I can go. I can hook up to a car right now. Today. Yep. Yeah. So if my MG is stuck, I know who to call. Uh, yeah. I'm and that happens you. more <laughs> more frequently than you'd think. So. <laughs> wow. Now this, who did that? So it says Georgetown Garage, and it's a coincidence because when I seen it on pictures, I thought it was stickers. And I thought when I got it home, I'll change the name. But when I got it home, it was painted on. That's no hand way. painted. So it's Georgetown, even in the U.S., there's a place yeah, called Georgetown. Down in Arizona. What are the chances of that? So it's just meant to be. Yeah, it's a coincidence. Georgetown's Absolutely. just, you know, next town over. My God. She's beautiful. Can we take a look at the engine? Yeah, certainly. Wow. Again, the same motor as the 52, 235. You know, I could climb in there and mess about. Yeah. Like there's a you ton of space. You know where everything is. Yeah. yeah. They brought the battery into the, into the engine compartment. Regular 12 the, volt at that? This is 12 volts, yeah. Wow. And the radiator and... And she's, she keeps pretty cool, like no problems overheating and nope, stuff like nope, that? No, nope. no, So how many horsepower would you say an engine like this is? I knew you were going to ask me that question. Uh, Bullpuckish. I mean, it can't be that strong. I mean, it's got enough power, but it's not 
it's not fast, fast. I mean, it's designed no, no. for a purpose, right? Yeah, it's a yeah. utility vehicle yeah. at the end of the day. Let me go on this side. Wow. Yeah. It's lovely. Well, it needs a bit of cleaning up, but uh, it, whoever had it before me just went to town with the blue paint. Yeah. Should, I like it, it actually. Should, you know what? Should, it's uh, kind of cool. Know, the valve cover should be orange. The oil yeah. filter should be a different color. And, but I love it. So it doesn't stay up by itself. No, you have, you have I to have hold, hold it up. It. I have right. a stick. Okay. I have a stick, but no, okay. the springs are need to be replaced. So look, look at how gorgeous this is. So obviously that that's kind of asking to be chromed one day. Is yes, that, that's is right. Is that the plan? Well, I've thought about it. I've thought about it. But it does look cool the way it is, you know. It's tempting though, isn't yeah, it? it? Imagine is. the amount of chrome on <laughs> yeah, there alone. Yeah. No, they look sharp chrome. Oh, definitely. There's this look to this thing though, isn't there? Yeah, it's, it's just, got a mean. Oh, definitely. Mean thing. For sure. So these two thi things out the front here, yeah. they call them Dagmars. Dagmar? Yeah, yeah. Okay. and it was, uh, I just found out the other day that was in regards to some actress back in the day that was... Them. Oh, that was what? Sorry, sorry, Glenn, do that one more time. <laughs> a little heavy uh, in the front right. end. <laughs> Dagmars. <laughs> uh, priceless. Oh, wow. I won't forget that one. Okay. But should they not be protruding out? Oh, no, that's, that's a different <laughs> yeah, story. Yeah, okay. that's a different. <laughs> wow. Can I take a look inside this? Yeah, certainly. I can't believe. What are the chances of Georgetown yeah. Garage? Yeah. yeah. It just works, right? Yep. It's just up the road from People us. People ask me, where's your garage in Georgetown? <laughs> oh my God, look at that. I just love the blue and the white combo. Beautiful. What does that say? General Motors. I can't go sideways, but model 9433. Yeah. Paint is 539. My God, lovely. So this has been reupholstered, yeah, yeah. not by you though. No, was it like no, I bought it exactly the way it is. So you haven't done anything to this? Nothing in the front end, air inside. Done some mechanical work. Yeah. Okay, Glenn, what, yes. what is that? With the, is heater. that the heater? Yeah, so oh you can deflect, deflect your air from to the dash to the floor by just pulling that lever up and down. And that's your big uh, PTO yeah, so switch? You, you, you pull that and it engages the pump for the hydraulics. Wow, look at this thing. And these little knobbies there? The, they the control the beacon on the roof and the, and the, <laughs> the, the working lights and the, uh, the... Okay, so you got the shifter. Yeah. What's that other uh, lever beside That's it? the parking brake. That's the parking brake there, yeah. okay. And this blue one here, high High beams? beam, low beams, yeah. And then the other little pedal? The round button's a starter, same as the 52. Oh, right. You right, just right, don't right. turn the key and get in and start yes. it. You have to turn the key and press that, and that engages the starter. Got it. Beautiful. And the speakers, right? There's an audio system in this thing. No, that's air vents. There's no radio. Oh, well, at the bottom there, is that it, not a speaker? No, that's not. That's, that's air vents. That brings in your cool air. The black ones? Oh, I'm sorry. That is speakers. So where the heck's that connected to? Well, I don't have a radio. See, I didn't. Eat, I'm learning something. Just there we go. We learned something together. together. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess it must have been uh, hooked somebody's, up at some so, point. Somebody's added. Yeah, maybe had a radio under the dash or whatever. Because there's no radio. I love the the uh, the roof as well. Well, there's a um, a liner missing. Yes. And I, got and I guess the interior interior back. light. I've got one in, on the shelf inside my shop. I haven't put it in yet. But there's something about the uh, the windows in this thing. Isn't it cool? Yeah, the wraparound. Like it's almost as though the frames disappear. Like yeah. great visibility. Yeah. Wonderful. Ah, oh, this is such a toy though. This is literally a toy, isn't it? You must have a blast driving this thing. And it's practical. Yes, I am. I see anybody broke down on the side of the road, I'll pick them up. So it's just a rear wheel drive. Yep. Yes. Ne yeah, dual, never a four dual wheel wheels. Drive. Yeah. Oh, dual. dual yeah, wheels. it's a dually. Oh, yes, yes. Wow. My God. Absolutely lovely. Okay. And then let's go to the Cheyenne. Yeah, let me this close is a this. 1972 Chev Cheyenne right. Super. 
This truck came from Texas and it's pretty much got all the options except for a clock. <laughs> That's it. No clock? No clock. What were they thinking? It, Does it have a gun well, rack? Well, it, it has the bezel for the clock. What about a gun rack? Does it no, have No, no gun no, rack. So no, it's from Texas? Come on. Wow. Look at this thing. I love this color scheme. Yeah. Two toned. Yeah. With the chrome uh, dividing the, the two colors. How is this not cool? Like, this is just beautiful. I love the fact that all of them have the filler tanks right uh, there. On the driver's Always side. Always on the driver's side. Yeah. All trucks or just... No, the, the 52 is on the other side. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, it yeah. is. Yeah. Look at this thing. So this is a long box. A preferable truck is a short box, but I'm starting to... The, the long box is starting to grow on me. It is. So uh, the options would have been the rail on the box, the cargo light, the uh, sliding rear windows. So these would have been factory options yep. then, right? Yep. So when you buy her. Yeah. My God. And the wood grain. Uh, yes. Well. Oh, there you go. A little bit of uh, yeah, I gotta replace age that. right there. My God. And what was the engine on this one then? It's 350. 350. Yeah, they've done some uh, tricks to it, so it's upgraded to a... Uh, look, look at the fake wood everywhere. That is so cool. Is that an 8-track? It is. Ah. And guess what's playing there? Oh, uh, don't, don't. oh my <laughs> God, near and dear to my heart. Look at this. You rascal. I knew you were coming. Oh my lord. You know what? If you have any other eight tracks, get rid of them because this is the only one you need. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, well, the options on this is uh, tilt wheel, all the gauges again, uh, except for the clock. Yes, let me swing around the other side, a little bit closer to the gauges. I'm just mesmerized. Hotel California on an eight track. And they even threw in a truck. <laughs> wow. So she's got uh, tilt steering, factory air. All factory the, air. Yeah. Uh, bucket right. seats. You Not too many pickups you see with a console and a That's bucket true. seat. Most yeah, of them this are is not the Canadian tire job, is it? You got cup holders in there? No. Ah, no. let's not get silly. All right. <laughs> they're, they're here. No. Well, no. Yeah, they are here. Wow, there okay, you. at least but you have you an can't, option. But you, you yeah. can't drive. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> but definitely they not. can stay there if you're stationary. Stationary, yes. This radio is original? No, no. Okay, no. aftermarket. It's a Bluetooth radio. Really? Yeah. This thing? It's a, one of those retro Johnny yeah, things? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, aftermarket. I love the 8-track. I just kind of make the entire video looking at this thing. There we go. Hey, is there a, an album picture on there? Can we pull it out? Sorry. Oh, yes, look at that. Okay, thanks for coming out, Glenn. I'm good to go. <laughs> Just leave me with this, and uh, how about that? Oh, I love it. So Beautiful. Again, the options, the car fully carpeted. Most of them had rubber floors. Right. So in 72, 71, 72, GM decided that they weren't going to try to get uh, pickup trucks a little bit more... Uh, Upmarket, if you yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. More classier and a better ride and better look, interior. Look at all this, though. Yeah. yeah. So this I was... I did not expect to see that. Like, they really did a good job trying to increase its appearance, right? And this gauge cluster again, like, every, even attack. Even attack, yeah. Attack. Beautiful. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. How cool yeah, I got to have that? air. No pun intended right there. Beautiful, then. And the levers, I guess, for the seats is yeah, back to, and forth. It's back and forth, yeah. And it's even got the Alpine. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's, that's uh, the speakers. You got to have the Alpine speakers. Wonderful. Amazing, Glenn. All right. Let's so have a look at the engine. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. This is amazing. 350. Oh. Got the headers on her. Some cam work. Did you do this? No, no. It came like this. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get to work on this one. 
So yeah. again, you, you bought the Eagles 8 track and they threw in the rest of this to go with it. Hey, you can hear a bit of the echo going on there too. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. Look at that. That is amazing. Yeah. Factory air. Very impressive, Glenn. 12 volt battery is yeah, where you expect it to yeah, be. Yeah. yeah. And again, no problems keeping it cool and everything running no, around. No, it has electric fans. Oh, it does, yes. Yeah, they added that. I guess they had a heating problem. But Fantastic. no, I have, since I've owned it, I have had no problem overheating. Never enough chrome. So yeah, I like they to chrome see that. the alternator. Oh, she's beautiful. All right, Glenn. So you know what I'm going to ask you, right? We got to eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Can, we, can we go for a little drive <laughs> yeah. in the, uh, the tow Which truck? Which one we're going to go in? The tow truck. And you want to go in the I've tow I've never been in one. Well, I have as a passenger because my <laughs> MG's in the back. That was before COVID, mind you. Now they don't even let you do that. So, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. All right. Hey, Glenn, since you got a hey, running, Ken. rev the engine for me. Hey, hey, Glenn, where's the exhaust? Underneath there somewhere. Underneath, all right, and honk the horn. Oh, it's not going to do it. Oh, it <laughs> it's just, just scared the heck out of me. I had to find it. I wasn't used to where it was. <laughs> All right, let me hop in. Hang on. Get in, Kevin. We got a tow call we got to get to. Oh, yeah, yeah. We Let's go. We got to beat the competition. Yeah. Oh, it's a race, isn't it? These <laughs> days? Good Lord, man. Why is that, Glenn? In all seriousness, is it because. It's the first one there that gets the uh, yeah. that gets, gets the tow, right? Well, I'm not a tow guy, but yeah, it's a competition. So are they listening to the uh, the police band or something? Uh, I believe so. Wow. Yeah, they're equipped to find, uh, try to get beat the competition, I guess. It's all about getting there first and getting the uh, car to hook up to. So this is a four-speed three manual? Sp three-speed. Three-speed, wow. Yeah. What a joy this thing. I can't well, believe how high you are as well. It's not a comfortable truck to, to, to ride in. But, oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it, does, it does move a little bit, but that's <laughs> all right. Bounce around, squeaky. <laughs> oh, it's cool character, Glenn. Hey, Glenn, I just noticed this center dial. It's not really a dial, it's just GMC. Yeah, there would have been a clock in there, I think. Oh, really? Another clock delete. Okay. <laughs> Look at this thing. Now, did you add that? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, that's Mater. That's her mascot. I love it. What, it's got an actual uh, console thing? Yeah, I think that seat has a, yeah. A cup that, holder that, in there? I don't know. You better uh, have we, a look. I don't shall know. Shall we try it? Okay, sure. hang on. What's your hat there? Yeah. Let's see. No? No. <laughs> yes, look at oh. this. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Priceless. All right. Very cool. Now you feel Canadian. You gotta you gotta have a couple gotta, because yeah. where are you gonna put your tibbies otherwise? <laughs> That's right. My God, Glenn, this is so lovely. I just love the contrast, the blue and the white. And it's got this, so Glenn, going back then, when you were a kid, when you first got your car, what was your first car? Six, you know? 66 Chev station wagon. A station wagon? A Bel Air, yeah. Bel Air, oh, It was oh, my absolutely. grandfather's car. Wow. And uh, yeah, I ended up getting it. Did you learn to drive on that? Uh, no, it would have been my father's car. It uh, would have been a 74 Grand Torino. Oh, so you, your dad was a car guy too then? Well, it was a four-door. Oh, was <laughs> it? Not, not the Starsky and Hutch one. No, I was thinking, All right, same fine. front end, but yes. four-door. Yeah, okay. Ain't hey, nothing wrong with that. It's a cool car.
my god. You know what's funny? It's an awful long way between the gears, isn't it? Yeah. Don't you just love those little squeaky noises no, you I get? Want them, I want no? them to go away. Really? You do? <laughs> I don't know. To me, it's kind of music. It's character. Hey, Glenn, I happen to notice you got this little safety yep, kit. Yeah, first there. aid kit. Is that from original? Like, it came with the truck, you reckon? Like, the box looks as though it's been around a bit. Yeah, it's been around. I don't know where it came from. But, uh, yeah, it's an old box. Probably I got it at an auction or something. I'm so impressed with the visibility though. Yes. Like you can really see everything. That's wrap around windshield front and back. Uh, a post, B post, pretty minimal. So is there any other vehicle you're thinking that uh, you might have a little bit of space for? I, I am, I'm looking for a 60, 1960 to 63 GM or Chevy pickup. Another pickup truck. Yeah. Okay. I want to get something in the 60s. Okay. I got 50s covered. I got 70s covered. So, so you're just kind of doing the generational thing now. You just yeah. uh, are you going to work your way up to the 2000s, or shall we stop at the cars that uh, look like cars and not belly no. button cars? I'm gonna, I think I go. I'm going to go the other way. Yeah. 40s. Yeah. Oh, even better. Absolutely. Cars with charisma. There you right? go. Yep. No plastic. No plastic. And you can hey, Glenn, no rear view mirror, right? No, I don't know where it would have been, either up here or on the dash, but no, there's no so rear view. So you just depend on your side mirrors. That's it. Mind you, they are big ass mirrors, so <laughs> it does help. The, uh, the red lights at the top, again, all original, would have been something like that? Something like that, yeah, the beehive light. Um, beehive light, is that what they were called? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see these are all LEDs. Yeah, yeah, those are LEDs. Absolutely gorgeous machine. I love it. The I just like this thing. The big grill, yeah. Oh my God, it's got that meanness, doesn't it? Lord help you, if that's like bearing down on you from uh, in your rear view mirror, you get out the way. <laughs> all right, Glenn. Yes. What's behind this door? Oh, come on, big come on. Toys. Can I open it? Yeah, for sure. Well, at least it's open. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> yeah, this is my little man's cave. We it put is together. Indeed. Collected some signs over the years. Look at, oh, Canadian Tire. I yeah. love Canadian Tire. Yeah, that's an old parts sign off a store. 1962, that sign was oh my uh, God. made. In a, Collect some Tonka toys. Well, me too. I was a big addict on Were those you? things. Honestly, yeah, yes. Yeah. How could I you got know? all the toys that I didn't have when I was a kid. Look at this girl. Yeah, that's a 77 Oldsmobile Cutlass. It only has 25,000 miles. I met my wife Hang in on. it. 25,000? Not 120. No, 100. No, not 100. 25. 25,000, yeah. I met my wow. wife in it. A little dirty, but uh, haven't had time to give it a bath. But it's got the 350 in it. I've just changed. Uh, it's all uh, all original except for the shifter we put in and uh, Is the wheels. Is that a burst shifter? Is no, that what a, they call these? It's things? a B and an M. It's automatic. Oh, really? Okay. B and M. Yeah. Uh, original yeah, radio too. Yep. Yeah. Man, AM, FM. The coolest thing. No AC in this. Sure. No. No AC in this. No. That's what they made windows for. This is the last year, 77 was the last year of the, the big car. 78 was a smaller version of the Cutlass. You know what, I just love the rear end of this thing. Just that slope, yeah, yeah, everything yeah. about this car is so elegant. Yeah, so we put Kragers on it, it tires, and I have the original rally wheels that match the color of the car. <laughs> this is yeah. amazing. 350, four barrel, automatic. So do you plan to get her up and running at some point? And well, uh, uh, hasn't run in a couple of years. Right. Uh, fuel's probably gone bad in it. Yes. Uh, got other things that I'm driving and this sort of got to the back burner. Of but we're gonna, we're gonna go through the fuel system and get it up and running. 
So do you do a lot of the work yourself? Yes, like any stuff that I can do myself, I try. If not, we have a couple of mechanics I can go to. Very cool. Yeah. And the hoist in that you had put in here when you uh, built this little area? Yeah, I can store two, another car on top or, or a truck. <laughs> so you're just planning yeah. ahead, aren't the you? <laughs> the building's not big enough, so I had, had to go up, uh, upstairs. I see. Yes, and does your wife know that that's your ultimate plan is to maybe t sneak something else under her? Wow, what a gorgeous machine. And these bikes? Yeah, uh, 2007 Road King Classic, this one here. Right. I got the fender off it. Uh, I had to get it repainted because we had uh, something fall on it. So I'm going to put that together. That's the bike I learned on. <laughs> I never rode a bike in my life till what a way to learn, 2007. Though, get on it and go. Look at that. And then uh, my wife doesn't well, ride. What about, what about like a Honda 250 yeah, or well, some, some I blame, nonsense? I blame that on my neighbor. I wanted to start on it with a Honda Shadow, and he said, yeah. no, 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 you got to get a Harley. So we got the Harley, and we learned on it. And then the wife liked to ride. This one wasn't too comfortable for her. Right. So I got this um, anniversary uh, 2013 uh, Ultra Classic, and that's... A little bit better to uh, with two two pass two people riding. Wonderful. Does she ride as well now? No, just so on it's the, just you and you just, just hangs on to me. Oh, that's the only time she gets close to you. Then is that right, Glenn? <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. I love your floors here. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Oh, I love this. This is like old school diner. Yeah, with the. Um, this doesn't work, surely. This decoration. It does. It does really? work, wow. but I have it hooked up to a tape recorder. I don't have the uh, the record players. Can I, can I just? Can I turn this? Yep. Look at that, Pat Benatar. <laughs> oh yeah, my some God. old tunes. Willie you're probably, Nelson. <laughs> probably recognize in there. Yeah. George Jones. I love the way this is all mechanical. I yep. never realized. Yeah, even the guts to it are all mechanical. Just throw the coin in there, and it's a bunch of levers and. Wonderful. Look at that. That's oh, the leaves. Yeah, there I was they gonna are. Say, was that the year that they won something? Or? Well, they didn't win in 72. <laughs> they didn't have calendars back then when they won. I Actually, I got that from a, a barber shop that I went to uh, when I was in uh, um, grade seven, I guess. And they used to hand them out at the end of the year. So I got that one. I love these signs in that. Wow. Well, very, very cool. Are some of these actually original signs? Like yeah, the Goodyear sign's a porcelain sign. Uh, the other what, ones... The blue one's porcelain? Yeah, that's a porcelain sign, yeah. They made them in like... Yeah. Really? Yeah. The other ones are just metal. Oh, very, very yeah. nice. And I noticed these toys Yeah, got there. some pedal cars up there. So oh. what you should be telling me, Glenn, is that you used to ride these when you were a wee lad. <laughs> that's what got me started. Yeah, right? And well, then, then the I passion had a just grew. I had a pedal car when I was younger, but that wasn't one of them. I so don't basically, if I understand you, you built this little area here to store your pedal cars, and it just made yeah, it a little tad bigger. It grew from there, yeah. <laughs> wow. I actually yeah. love the, uh, the air pump. Yeah, it's too. an old air uh, dispenser back they had on gas stations. You used to go get your air. What's free. this one, then? So this, this was... This is an oil pump. You put your... Uh, your glass bottle under here, which I don't have, and you just wind this up and you get the oil wow. at, at service stations. So this would be full of oil. Amazing. Yeah. The good old days. Hey? The good old days, yeah. When, when they checked were your oil. When yes, they checked and they your call oil. you sir and madam and, right. and all these things. Now you're, well, anyway, now we won't say anything, but uh, times have changed. Yeah. Beautiful. This is amazing, Glenn. Thank you. All right. All right, Glenn. I got to thank you. This has been a real treat. Like not only just one, but another truck, another one. Plus you got the little hidden gem in behind too. So amazing. Thank you again. Well, I want to thank you too, Kevin, and, uh, and, and your work on going out and doing all these videos. It's a real treat to look forward to an oh, up and coming it. video of all the uh, cars and trucks that you've done in the past. Good job, Kevin. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did I pay you to say that, by the way, Glenn? No, you did not. All right. Thank you.